Yo, what's going on guys? Ace here and today I'm going to show you my DX Story and Sony Vegas Pro 12 render settings. A lot of you guys were asking me for these settings, so I'm going to show you guys um, them today. So, um, open up DX Story. I'm assuming all of you guys have uh, these three set up, so I don't know if you could copy it. Uh, this is kind of just default stuff here. Um, so yeah. So, the movie settings, this is like the most important thing you guys want to see here. Um, codec, lag width, lossless codec. Um, if I'm going too fast, by the way, you guys may pause the video. Just basically copy everything what I have here. Uh, if you guys don't have this codec, I'm going to have a link in the description so you guys may download it. Um, oh, this is my Twitter. When you open the link in the description, you guys will see this. Install the lag width installer right here. Once you have it installed, basically restart your DX story and it will show up and you just choose this codec. Um, what this does is I think gives you like a smaller file size for your videos and also gives better quality. I'm pretty sure. I'm not really sure if I'm right. But uh, click on this pen right next to it and mode YV12 and use multi-threading. Press OK. I record in 60 FPS. I don't, I don't really mess with this file output AVI. I didn't really mess with this. I think this is default. Um, clipping 1280 by 720p. I don't really think this makes a difference. Um, and scaling size 1280 by 720p, 100%. Include mouse cursor, and that's all. I don't really. The audio, I guess you guys could check this out. I don't really mess with this too much. I kind of just leave it the same here. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is the screenshot settings. I don't mess with this advanced settings. I didn't really mess with this as well. So yeah, that is all for uh, DX story. So onto my render settings, um, say I'm going to render my, uh, intro here. I just kind of highlight it file render as, and you go to, or is it main concept AVC slash AAC MP4 click on this arrow thing. It expands. Go down a bit and you will see Internet HD 720p customized template. Um, everything is here the same frame rate. You want to change this to 60. So 60 and constant bit rate. You want to change this to 20 million. Okay. Variable bitrate. I don't know what this really does, but whenever I, I use this, it doesn't, my videos doesn't really look high quality. Like it, it kind of looks pixely when I use this. So I use the constant bitrate and I use 20 million. Um, number of slices. I keep it at four in render using CPU only. This is basically all audio. I don't really mess with this. I kept it the same, uh, project. Uh, I use the best. And that is all. That is what I have um, as a star here. My render settings. This is the exact same one. So as you guys can see, it's the same thing. 60 FPS, 20 million bit rate, CPU only. I go to project here. It's best. So it's basically the same thing. Oh, it is the same thing. I guess that's all. Um, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if this helped you. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.